we're doing today is the dangle bait with a circle hook for your bigger, uh, your bigger hammers, those 30 to 60 kilo hammers. We've got our Kingfisher dangle on here with a tuna circle, 90 pound wire, that's at Surflon Supreme, it's a very soft supple line, 36 kilo line to our solid ring. Now to see the trace made up, refer back to the dangle with the circle hook for catching um, hammerheads. Okay, to start off with, what I've got here is a very thick piece of chocker, a very small and a very small uh, chocker there. Chocker hammer, knife and chocker. I've got a bit of uh, crystal flash and two eyes. To start off with, just split our little chocker open. Taking that out, I'm just going to clean him up a little bit here. Just going to throw the skin away. And you're looking for the whitest possible chocker to use for this bait presentation. Okay, what we're doing is cutting two long, long tentacles out of this thin piece. And the reason we use the smaller chocker, it's a lot thinner, it's more flexible in the water. There's one. And we're just going to cut another one over here. There's two pieces. That I'm just going to put away. Right. This part here, measured to the size of the actual dangle. So we're just going to take him and cut him straight across. Make one nice big square. Turn him with the skin side up and the fleshy side down. The reason being is you want to actually break it up a bit hard part of the chocker or the thicker part of the chocker hammer we start tapping once we've done that what we can do is you can add glitter you can add your reds your blues and your silvers and golds to it just a little bit of sprinkling on it um, we're not really going to do it because I'm going to show you something else that works quite well take that around our dangle and what we do is we actually just wrap it around we get the size that we want okay you see this is a little bit too big so what I'm going to do is just quickly cut it down okay that comes out that goes on top and we're just going to lightly cotton it up okay quickly take that Tie it down. This part over here you don't want, so again, I'm just going to cut it off. And it's going to effectively uh, interfere with your actual um, uh, sinker when you actually hook it. Okay, so what we've got here is a lovely aerodynamic round sausage, basically. Now, we take our two wings that we've cut and we just can lightly again flesh side just lightly hit it just to make it a little bit softer and it gives it more movement in the water just lightly not too hard if you want to you can slit it make it a little bit more uh, presentable where there's a lot more legs in it we might just do it just to show you guys it doesn't really make a difference just split them open nicely okay so that's basically what we do those parts we're going to attach down the bottom part over here. That's basically over the actual hook part, if you can say that. We're going to take that and we're going to lightly cotton it there once or twice. The exact same with the, the flesh side facing outwards. Over there. Just three or four turns on it. Then we're going to take our flesh stick that down and along the top part of it and lightly cotton that on but cotton it on quite tightly at the end bit so that part we can actually tie down quite nicely then working our way back 
we get into the back part of it we're going to take our eyes slide that under some of the cotton that we've already put on as you can see I've just slid it underneath there the same on this side we're just going to slide it in underneath some of that over there try and keep them opposite one another and a little bit of nylon that's sticking out is where we're actually going to start cottoning on just go backwards and forwards and then work our way to the back there and then again just quickly to the front we get to the front here we just tie them off off and pull tight so that's basically what he looks like at the end of the day so you look like this when he hits the water and of course you've put your sinker on and attached it it will throw nicely when it actually hits the water that's now gonna swim like this on the surface and of course you can keep on pulling it down and up down and up because when you give slack line that foam is going to pull him up when you let go again and you pull you're going to do this and these tentacles are going to be moving you've got all the sparkle in it if uh, like i said you add a bit of glitter to it it'll make a huge difference and that's basically what it looks like a long distance casting chocker bait for bigger hammers